Ryan, and this is After Midnight. The game show some rando on Rotten Tomatoes said is getting better episode by episode. <laughs> I'll take it. Let's meet tonight's panelists. Yeah. He is a comedian you know from the Inconsistent Podcast whose new comedy album and special Frontin' is out now. It's Rob Hayes. <laughs> I know my mom's asleep, so my goal for this show is to be the thumbnail on Paramount Plus. Yes. Yes. He's yes. an identical twin comedian and actor you know from Cheap Seats and Better Call Saul and can see live in Minneapolis at the Acme on April 4th. It's Randy Sklar. Thank you. Yes, my name is Randy Sklar, and I hate to do this at the beginning of the show, Taylor, but can we speed this up? I'm due back at Trader Joe's in a half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Which, speaking of, can I interest any of you in our vegan celery? <laughs> 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 and finally, he's also an identical twin comedian and actor you know from Cheap Seats and Better Call Saul, and can hear on his podcast, Dumb People Town, it's Jason Sklar! <laughs> First of all, celery is vegan, Randy. And I am Jason Sklar. I am the Sklar brother who cannot grow a mustache. Uh, by the way, Randy, you look like a Jewish Magnum P.I. <laughs> or Men Menachem P.I., I'll take it. I'll take it. I will take it. After Midnight starts now. <laughs> Tonight, you'll all be playing for an extreme close-up during the end credits. Oh. <laughs> yep. That's, that's, that's right. Your face, real big. Hope you've been exfoliating. I'm ready. <laughs> Let's start with the stories people are talking about on the internet today. Here's what's going down in the group chat. <laughs> Panelists, buzz in with your jokes, and if you hear this noise, you get 100 points. Oh. The Oscars were last night, and guess who won? Movies. It's the same thing every year. Rigged. One highlight was actor and wrestler John Cena showing up almost completely nude to present an award. He looks like the Oscar. He I'm does. Like the <laughs> Hashtag Oscar so white. I just <laughs> need to say that. I need to say that. According to conspiracy theorists, like at Truth Zone, this is something called a humiliation ritual, which is done to prove your loyalty to the evil cabal that makes up Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, this is the darkest thing about Hollywood, yeah. for sure. <laughs> I don't want to give air to these conspiracy theorists, but why do you think I took this job? <laughs> so, comedians, what was your first humiliation ritual to appease Hollywood? Uh, I had to eat hot wings with that dude, and he and he never posted it on YouTube. What's up with that, bro? <laughs> oh true. my God, is that true? No, but oh. man, I wish it was. Well, points for coming up with it, Randy. I love that you had to eat hot wings. I had, I was forced to do the hot chip challenge with Bob Weinstein, so that's oh. that, the other one. The he was worse. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, it's you. Hey, Rob. Rob. It's you, Rob. I cloned myself, but the clone got so busy, I became its assistant. <laughs> By the way, that happened to me, too. What? So, I mean... <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. OK. Thank you. Growing up, it's hard to keep in mind that your teachers are people, too. They eat, they sleep, and in some cases, they drop the beat. Oh. Mm. Is being a teacher everyone's backup plan? Yeah. <laughs> That's a great class. If you don't get an A, at least you're getting some X. Yeah. Oh. Comedians, what might you overhear in this DJ professor's class? Rob. 
If you got financial aid, put your hands up. If you got student loans, put your hands up. If you got people out there, put your hands up. Thank you. Yes. I like it. So good. Randy. Um, open your textbooks to chapter six, titled. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> <laughs> Now wave your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care about the Peloponnesian War. None of you did well on that task. <laughs> All getting deep. <laughs> Move over, Al Jazeera. It's time for me to report on international politics. <laughs> I know, finally. It should be me. This week, Tasmanian Premier Jeremy Rockliffe promised that if re-elected, his government would build the world's largest chocolate fountain. Oh. Yeah, I know this sounds childish, but keep in mind, he's running against this guy. Yeah. <laughs> so comedians, in honor of this Willy Wonka-style campaign promise, what are some other childish promises politicians could make? Randy? Uh, I've decided to replace Congress with a bouncy House of Representatives. Oh. Yeah. It is, it is truly the only way I can handle Lauren Boebert. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Jason. I promise, I gotta do it like this too. Give <laughs> the thumb. I promise to develop a cooties vaccine that even RFK Jr. can support. <laughs> and I'll do it. Rob. Uh, not only will Flint, Michigan Whoa. have clean water, but the water fountains will dispense soda. Oh, yeah. hey, hey. Spring break, where college students swarm the beaches of Cancun, contract venereal diseases, and eat good. Yeah. At least they did at this all-inclusive resort. Spring break, you gotta throw up sometime. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, this place won't get any love for its food, but maybe we can change that. Comedians, please review this repulsive food in the most positive way possible. Randy. Make sure to try our delicious hold my hair back gumbo. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes as good going out as it did going down. <laughs> it works both ways, guys. Uh, <laughs> Rob is in the lead with 900 points. All right. 